When you walk into a space, yes. let's say you walk into a room, what's the first thing you start to think about? Uh, about the energy. Mm. Yes, this will be the first. Is it positive energy? Will I be able to stay in this party <laughs> for a long time? Or I will say, oh, I will leave after one hour. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it the stressful? You, you can totally see it about some persons who will sit down with their hands closed so he will not be able to communicate to open conversations or something yeah or you can see the person who will just uh, stand and say oh the, the funny jokes and stuff and you you will feel it immediately will you be able to stay in this mm. space or you wanted to leave so this now is about what, energy now what about the conversations that you have when when you walk into most spaces let's say your work or you know what are the type of conversations that, that you have or do you feel that sometimes you want to get into the deep conversations but you can't mm, I haven't in, had deep conversations in a while because it's like about something about work about things and stuff for deep conversations it wasn't happening anymore when I was younger actually it was um, much more people really sit down and talk about relationship or some emotions and stuff and now it's like uh, it's like feeling that people are faking faking the laugh the jokes mm. like I don't know why mm. actually so what when you let's say you start to feel like let's say you walk into a room mm -hmm. and it's only just a couple of people there and you start to feel certain energies or you feel someone mm -hmm. is a certain way do you approach that person let's say you can tell that person is sad or you know they do you yeah. approach that person or do you say oh I'm not gonna approach that person because I don't want to affect that person's space no I will come and I guess I will talk to him because I sometimes I feel that I can help mm. yeah just with the smile with mm. some some joke or just asking the person how are you my name is Elsa what you doing and stuff and get him to relax and because I'm feeling that I'm not, I don't want to say that I'm smarter but um, I just feel that I can help person I don't know I will I will go to the person and talk to him wow it's just so funny because I'm talking to you and like it's like totally me you know something to you <laughs> I just think further actually I, I, I you um, you know how I make my decisions I always put my me in other situation other people's situations so I really can understand why they are acting like that what's their problem and what they want me to do mm. so if I'm really really lonely sometimes I feel that it would be nice if someone will come to me and ask, Oh, how are you? Do you want some drink or something? It will be, it, it really helped me. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's why I always turn around the situation. How would I act? What would I do? Let me ask you, what about your dark spaces when it comes to people? Like, what are some of your, your darker, I guess I'll give you, I'll give you my, my thing. I am a person who I dedicate when I when I am with you, I dedicate my time, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it can be a paradox, you know, that hypocrite in a way, mm -hmm. where if I spend time with you and I dedicate my time, mm -hmm. I expect in return that there will be something mutual not necessarily that after we leave let's say we go to a party or whatever and i connect with you it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm gonna be with you again mm -hmm. because mo most of the time it's like we had our fun we had our conversation i had what i and i need from you that's it don't expect me to call you don't expect me yes, to yes it's the same for me yeah don't, don't expect me to i don't, i'm very like um I love to communicate, but that's it. I have only a few friends. I have my family, 
And it doesn't mean if I had a great conversation with you that I will have you will be my friend forever now. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. But one of my things though is that if I know that we share something beyond just the surface, like let's say we share a real true connection. Let's say we're the same personality type. Mm -hmm. That's something that's true. That's not something that's oh we have the same job or we have none of it. It's mm -hmm. like when we think the same and when because again I have intuition right mm -hmm. I can tell certain things mm -hmm. so when I start to notice that you're deviating from our connection because other people said something to you or whatever then I become intense, I become enraged. Because then I'm like, I give you all that I had. More so than everyone else. And now it's like, you are not disrespecting me, but you are, I wouldn't say being disloyal, but you are not being who you said you are. You're not authentic. Mm -hmm. I'm big on authenticity. Again, it's not for everyone. Because I don't commit to everyone. I'm not going to tell you. Mm -hmm. If I don't know you, I'm not going to tell you and say, oh, yeah, like, whatever. I may say, hey, we'll hang out. But I'm not going to be like. But if there's something that we really have something in common with and we really connect. And I've had a couple of people. They start to deviate. And then that's when I go on attack mode. Sometimes I confront them. Mm -hmm. And it makes people feel uncomfortable because I'm like, no, like, let's say, like, we're like brothers, like sisters, like, we make that connection. And you, and it, and it's not, I'm not saying it for you. Yeah, yeah. This is not for future reference for me or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you examples because something that's happening now with someone else. And so I go into that dark space, you know, of like, you failed me. You know what I'm saying to you? Because I thought we could do something together and you, you know, of all people who actually know me and really, so what about you? Like, what's your, do you have a particular space that you go to when it comes to other people? Actually, it's, for me, it's a little bit different because um, I don't, I don't wait anything for other people, from other people. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have a good conversation and uh, we felt like we are in the same spot, but maybe I just, gave up mm -hmm. on the relationship like friendships and stuff i just gave up because i uh, i haven't felt that in a while you know in a very long time that i'm in one space with some other people that we have the same thinking or something so mm -hmm. yeah i'm always only on my emotions mm -hmm. based and that's why i don't wait anything Expect anything from other people. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, no, that's fine. Because then that, that can, you know, we can definitely do a little bit more research on that to see where you actually fall. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, I said that before. Uh, I had relationships, yeah, I have been married, then I had one boyfriend and stuff. And when I open up and start to believing that maybe it could work out, and this isn't happening mm. yeah and uh, I gave you signs what I like and what I don't I said you a few times and then it, that person is not listening into me yeah. and then I slap the word yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, go, yeah. and uh, that's it and that's why yeah. I guess uh, at this point in my life I just yeah. gave up on the relationship and, and I think for me where that where that comes from it also it's, it's also part of my, my career, you know, mm -hmm. being in law enforcement, being military. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where you create a bond. And like, yes. it's like, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying to you? And like, you never leave your yes. fellow behind. It doesn't matter what it is, you're always there for that person. So I think that in relation to my personality, mm -hmm. it's more of like, again, it may not be someone who I really don't, you know, particularly care about. Because I'm not, although I like people, but I'm not going to go 
overboard for you. Mm -hmm. But for that person who, you know what I'm saying, to you... You have a bond, then, yeah, yeah. you will start believing. You know, and um, and, if, and the thing is, I go, I'll, if I feel it, I will do for you more so. I don't expect a lot from you, mm -hmm. but I expect that you don't deviate. Mm -hmm. You don't start to shy away, like you remove yourself from me. Not because it's you, but because someone else is telling you something. Mm -hmm. because, oh. because they don't believe this person or whatever. And it's happened a lot to me where, even when I was younger, I would remember I told you, I would always ask questions. Mm -hmm. this, and my stepmother would pull me away from my siblings because she knew I knew certain things about the family. Yeah. And she didn't want... You were too deep in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she would... So now, because of now, um, this, and they grew up like that. Even when I was in Florida, you know, my father wouldn't go to come to Florida, but he would hang out with them and not me. And they would say certain things that I said that I really didn't say, create this. Yeah, but it's like fake reality. Yeah. yeah? So as a result now... They don't accept real things, real opinions. They just live in the fake reality, so it's comfortable. So they don't really see the problems and solve them. Yeah. They just live how it's comfortable. Yeah. So as a result, then it's like... But it means that they don't grow, like personalities. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't solve the problems. No. And then you, you can see how, because even like my, even your, uh, your sister was saying, that a lot of the times I would be the one to say, okay, let's go back. I'm mm -hmm. sorry whatever but they would never make the effort it's like even the last time i gave an explanation this is what happened but they didn't take responsibility mm -hmm. for them it's like you know to the point where even you know actually it's a little bit sad that people can't say that they were wrong it's it means that you don't grow like personality yeah you yeah. can't you can't accept uh, accept that you did something bad or something you just say it's normal. 